It's July 9th, just 16 days away from the start of training camp. Everyone out there is talking about different star players that will perform well in 2019. But there are several players not getting noticed. Today I'm going to name 5 unknown Seahawk players that will have a breakout season in 2019. First, honorable mention, Will Disley. Disley tore his patella tendon in week 4 of last season, the same injury that Jimmy Graham suffered. It is very hard to come back from an injury like that, but Jimmy Graham proved that he could, maybe Will Disley as well. The four games that Disley played, he mauled opposing E linemen and pass rushers, like Chandler Jones. Go watch some footage on YouTube. So if he can bounce back from his injury, it is safe to say that he'll make a bigger impact for the Hawks this season. And now for the main list. Number 5, Shaquem Griffin. Seattle tried to use Griffin as a coverage type linebacker in 2018, unlike what he was used to in college, where he was used strictly as a pass rusher. Head coach Pete Carroll said that they will be having him take more snaps at the pass rusher slash strong side linebacker roles. Carroll said they would like to use his talents to help improve the team in 2019. I would not be surprised if Griffin recorded 5 to 8 sacks this season. Number 4, Rasheem Green. Green was ranked as one of the best D linemen coming into the draft in 2018, but injuries hampered him in 2018, so he was unable to see the field a lot. Green's talents and build are very similar to Seattle's recently drafted LJ Collier. Man, it'd be great if both Collier and Green have breakout seasons this year. Wouldn't that be awesome? With a season of experience, and if he can remain healthy, he could be one of Seattle's leading sack masters this season. Number 3, Jerron Brown. Brown signed with Seattle in the 2018 offseason. He's a durable receiver that plays a big part in the running game by blocking. He was also Russell Wilson's go-to guy in the red zone last season. Brown did not get a lot of targets last year, so if Seattle could give him more targets, he could be a great number two or even number one receiver. Number two, Huna Ford. Ford was signed as an undrafted free agent in 2018, where he made the 53-man roster because of holes in the D-line. In games where he saw action, he was blazing quick. He could fly through opposing O-lines with ease. Go watch the San Francisco game again. The one knock on him is that he is under 6 feet tall, and that could hurt a defensive tackle's performance. But from what little we have saw of him last year, it's safe to say that he'll probably be okay. We could possibly see Ford as a starter this next year, as a run stopper, where he excelled last year. And number 1, Jacob Hollister. Seattle acquired Hollister from the New England Patriots for a 2020 7th round pick. From what Seattle's coaching staff has said, in the practice film they have released, he could be a valuable, unusual type of player. He can be valuable in the run game, can block like a fullback, and can catch passes like a speedy receiver. Seattle can keep him for almost nothing while waiting for Disley to return from his injury. And when he comes back, Seattle will have a young tandem of tight ends that are both great in the run game and have soft hands. If he could keep up this type of performance in camp and through preseason, we could see a more established tight end for your release slash trade in. Well, there you have it. What other Seahawks players that are under the radar do you think will have a great season this year? Leave them in the comment section below. Please like this movie if you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave ideas for future movies as well. And most important, subscribe below and hit the notification bell to get notified. Thanks. But seriously, you should subscribe and like this movie. Go do it.